we are back. This is part two of uh, the 300 submissions for the Pokemon uh, card art contest. We're at the Pikachu section now. We had a little technical difficulty, so last video was part one. This is part two. We're picking up on Pikachu. Uh, we're starting off with the... We got the cute Pikachu, followed by the powerful Pikachu. Love this. This this is fire right here. We're just gonna we're gonna just keep going through these. These are some great artworks. You can see the artist down below. Uh, this is from Pokey Beach. They posted all of these, and these all of these Pikachu's. All these artworks are absolutely stunning. I like this Pikachu with the berries. Oh, I love this this one, man. He's chomping on the berries. He's charging. He's chonky. Look at chonky. He's so fat in the rain. This is this one. He's ferocious. He's a sleepy with the with the stars and the moon. Absolutely love all of these, man. I I can't understand how they can only pick three, three of these artworks to make into cards. Like, come on. This one's going to Mario's or Princess Peach's castle. We got some sleepy chonkies. We got oh, just adorable with the with the fruit. This one's a cool little art style right there. We got the yawning. He's scratching his little ears. This one, he's chilling on a crate with some berries. Picnic basket fell over. He's like, oh, <laughs> I like that one. Oh, this one looks a little chunky, like he's stretching. Now we're on to Bidoof. You'll notice that there is a theme with the Bidoof's look. Oh, he's got berries. That Bidoof's always working on his, his dam or his house. He's got sticks, and it makes sense. There he is. He's all, he's got his house going. Oh, I like this one. This one's cool. I like that perspective, that artwork. This one's cute too. He's diving with the stick. He's got work to do. He's got a he's on a little date with a buddy or something right here. This is first one of those 3D ones we've seen. Those ones are kind of cool. They're kind of hit and miss, but sleepy Bidoof. We got this this Bidoof means work right here. All great artworks, once again. Um, I don't think you can go wrong with any of these if these made it into a card. Props again to these these artists. I love just taking a deep dive on these. You really start to appreciate um, the artworks. You start to appreciate the Pokemon more. I swear, like, the more... So, the more, like, here, I appreciate Bidoof more and Bidoof. Like, okay, <laughs> this one with his cheeks. Are you guys kidding me? Look at this guy. I want to squish him. This one's cool. He's 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 cutting it down. He's crossing, crossing a little log here. He's swimming. I like the ones with other Pokemon, too. Hop it. Bidoof's chilling right here on a log with another one. Just the the variances in the artworks, right? Another 3D one. It's got some berries. Um, little like knitted looking one. That's really cute. Sleeping in his nest with some berries. He's like posing. He's got his little arm out. He's like literally posing for a photo. This one's like a realistic uh, like toy photo one. It's kind of cool. Um, got a pair of Bidoof's pair of swimming one's diving down one's diving up um but yeah i i really uh enjoy taking a look at these because i want to see if i if i remember like when these cards finally come out when they announce these in september if i go oh yeah, yeah i remember i remember that one because there's so many right it's it can be hard to appreciate all of these oh, i like this one too i like the mountains in the background this one he's a little bit more running on and I like, yeah, I like the leaves, the autumn vibe. All right, now we're on to Flygon. We got Flygon with some Butterfreeze looking good. He's, he's got his neck curled. This one's chilling like that. Uh, he's soaring. It's, these are all great. I like, oh, we got some other Pokemon in the, uh, in the background here. I like this one. The light beams are like separated. Those are cool. Another little Flygon through the cactus. He's got a little different tone to him. He looks cool. This one looks like a logo that somebody might have made, honestly, for like a company almost. <laughs> this one's really vibrant. I like this. I like this vibe. And this one's kind of, it's like the inverse of this in a few ways. That's cool. I like this. It seems like he's, sun it looks like he's sunning himself or something with the light, with the sun rays coming through. Um, this one's cool. He's, he's diving down. This one, he's like, <laughs> great. This one's like, um, he's hauling ass. He's in the he's in the valley. These are all really great. I like. Oh, we got multiple flagons, multiple other Pokemon up here. That's cool. This one's nice. You're gonna hear me say that a lot, right? These are all nice. Look, I like this one with the little Caterpie, or uh, not Caterpie. I'm sorry, Weedle. He's just like, <laughs> I like the Weedle in the background. This one looks really cool. 
this like i don't we've got the moon in the background like how are they gonna pick they're not gonna be able to pick three out of these right like there's no way another great flag on i like this one he's like kicking up a tornado and this this guy's all like whoa he's this one's like the upper of this i feel like he's upside down he's chilling i like this this is cool this one's cool this one's not like i've never been attached to flygon like at all but now i like flygon just from like sitting here like looking at these let me know let me know if that has that same effect on you guys like look he's carrying the trap inch like do you guys appreciate these pokemon more like because i feel like it's really hard not to these are all just great artworks look at this guy he's perched up all okay, right now we're into melmetal uh another pokemon that honestly i don't really care about but the more i'm looking at these i like this one this one's kind of cool the more i'm appreciative of the pokemon of the art different art styles this one's cool he's got the little guys on him i like that oh this one with a big old guy with the cutie fly see <laughs> and then he's what is he eating something I don't know. I can't tell, but that's cool. I like that. He's in the factory. He's outside. I don't don't know. He's like getting a scrap pile. Got the little guys all over him. So yeah, I don't know. Nuts and bolts. You never knew that nuts and bolts could be cute, but Pokemon and these artists find a way. <laughs> this big old one. He looks like a like a sleeping Titan or something. This one. He's in action. Was he lifting up like a a root? thing that's cool this one's nice i like the sheen on it this one in the fire that's cool this, he's he's duking it out all right now we're into the charizard section right look at the charmander down here that's so cute got another sleepy zard we got that other promo before kind of looks like that i like this one too he's all curled up it's kind of like a logo and his steam's curling we got charizard over the water we got charizard over a battle we got charizard chasing after rayquaza we got charizard I, th does this look like a mel metal or something and he's like seismic tossing die bombing him to the ground that's pretty awesome love this one love this artwork like this like him looking up to the moon it's great this one he just seems really happy it's charizard living his best life now this one super artsy with the even like the curling around the moon like his flame is curling like love that this one's just fun this is looks like a children's book with the moltres like i like that vibe this one another great one over the water a little more realistic looking different art style here with the fire coming out and the claws looks great this one he looks like a little more like chibi a little bit just a little cuter he's looking adorable this one's he's kind of menacing Kind of looks a little evil, evil Zard. Another curly, curly one with the curly tail and the sun. Love it. Like this one with the uh, other ones in the background. And I like this pose with the fire. Love it. Now this one, he's working hard. He's blowing a big old flamethrower. Dang, that's cool. I really like this one too. He's just kind of like checking over the lake, looking over there. Nice artwork. This one's pretty cool too. The the fire going not of a single bad artwork anywhere in here this one's cool up in the sky another one in the sky he's looking down he's got his claws out what else we got over the water with the wingles love it oh just over the clouds we got a haunch crow down there or something possibly Ooh, this one's real cool i like how his his tail fire is like it makes it look like this is a volcano i'm not sure if it is but it looks awesome He's got to get his berries. He's got to get his food in, obviously. He's chilling in his volcano. Oh, this one's cool with the water splashing. I like it. This is the cutest one I've ever seen. Look at this Charizard. He's protecting the Charmander with his wings so his flame doesn't go out because he's too small. Oh, man. That is absolutely adorable. All right, now we got some, like, actual full card renderings of some stuff. The Absol for Alligator, that one's cool looking. Got another for alligator getting the Rasengan looking thing going on. I like it. Another for alligator. I like the claws ripping through. Super cool. That that would be a dope card. Toxtricity. He's got the eh. He's always eh. 
another toxicity tongue out he's doing his thing but doof's got his shiny teeth and his stick nice flag on one Mel metal again Ooh, this is a cool charizard i'd love to see this card like like that that's cool this one as well It'd be a nice little ex another nice ex you can't go wrong and that is going to bring us to the end that is the end of part two. I do apologize uh, for any of you guys who watched the part one before. Uh, I had to cut it into two parts. So sorry. But anyways, we got it done. And yeah, so that that was uh, part two of the video. And yeah, I really enjoyed just kind of looking at the arts. Let me know in the comments if you guys below. Um, let me know in the comments below if you guys enjoyed just kind of taking a look, appreciating potential future artworks. I think it's kind of a fun thing to do. Um, but that's going to do it for this one, guys. I'll catch you in the next one. Remember. It was never a phase.